Hello Laravel friends, let's talk about Laravel 12.4, a new array helper, model exceptions, and how to assert nothing was thrown. Let's go. First, we now have a model accept method. When you get your user, where for example, let's get the first user first, you can see we get the user model back with all the attributes of the user. But sometimes you don't want to get all of them back. So in this case, what you can do is you can first go to the model and there you have this protected um, hidden array where I can say, okay, I don't want to show a password and the remember token, which we have already set. But still, we would get them back here because, yeah, this only works if we transform this to an array or to JSON, for example. So if we get an array, you can see the password is not in there. There is also another way. If you don't want to set this here, you can also do the same thing on the fly. So there's a method called make hidden. And let's say, let's take the name, for example. And you can see now we don't get the name back here. Yeah, you can see this works now as well. There is no name and this can be set on the fly. And by the way, there's also make visible method, where, um, which is just the opposite. But there's also something else which we can do, which is the only method. So we can say only give me the email, for example. And you can see this will give me my email address back. And of course, this also works with multiple values. Let's say email and Name, here we go, yeah, this works as well. But yeah, now we have something new, which is the opposite of this, which is the accept method. So give me everything except the email and the name. And you can say I still get everything back, I get my password, I get everything just without the email and without the name. So yeah, this is the new accept method, which you can use on your models. Thank you, Visha. Now let's talk about asserting exceptions. Inside this test here, I want to make sure that something throws an exception. And here we have the third throws method here, which gets a callback here. And inside here can trigger something. So for example, let's get me my import users and fail class. And I'm going to run the handle method. So I already know that this will fail. Let's run this. And the test is passing because this is, take a look, this is throwing this invalid argument exception. Okay, so this is what we already had in level. But now we have the opposite, which is assert doesn't throw, which also gets a closure here. And if I run this, this should now fail here. First, um, I got the method wrong. Third doesn't throw, yeah, I think that's it. All right, but it's still failing because an unexpected exception of type invalid argument exception um, with message was thrown, where we were asserting that it doesn't throw. So if I take now my other import users action here, which should not fail, you can see this is now passing because yeah, this is now not throwing an exception more. And yeah, if you like to make sure that you trigger some code and it doesn't throw any exception, this is a new method that you can use. Thank you, Günther. And last here is the new array helper I promised. In Lava, we have this wonderful soul method on the eloquent builder. So let me show if I have a user and try to get the user where the mail is my, and then I can just say, give me the user, or what we can also do, give me just the first one, because mostly there's only one and we want to get the specific user, you can see we get it directly. But in some cases, you also want to make sure that this is the only user with this email address, or with these constraints which we set, and then we can use the sole method. And if we run this, you can see we get a user back, because there's only one in the database. But if there were multiple ones, we can check this if I change this to name. And then let's change the name to Christoph Rumpel. Let's run as you can see, this is now failing. Let me switch this here. The view, you can see this is a multiple records found exception, which is being thrown. And this is the message that only um, already two are found. And this is more than just one. And that's what the sole method does, which is really helpful. I use it a lot, especially while testing. Okay, this is something that we already had, nothing new here, but now we have uh, the same functionality, but on an array. So let me show you on the array helper, we also have now the sole method, and let's provide an array here. So for example, let's just say, um, let's just say my name. If I run this, you can see I get Christoph back because there's only one 
item in there. If I now try this with test, you can see this is failing because now there are two items in this array. Looks pretty simple and it also is, but there are some use cases where this can be useful. So we have this on the Eloquent Builder, but now we also have this on the Array Helper for you. Thank you, Ralph. That's it for this release. Thank you all for your contributions. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you like this content and see you the next time. Bye.